So you guys ready to talk supply chain? Sure. Yeah, problem, right? And so you can't find the materials you need. I think I know why we can't find any contractors. They're all here. <laughs> <laughs> but in all seriousness, has it affected your industry specifically, Jen? Absolutely, like concrete pavers, decking, and then you have to have the patience of your client. You can't get the stuff. You can't get the stuff. It, it was been delayed three months here, three months there, and try telling that to your client who's already been waiting eight months to get to their house, right? What can't you get, Ross? Wi-Fi chips for smart home de devices that are on back order. Whole heat pumps that are coming from, from afar, but also an odd thing are components like tub fillers. You can't get, you can still get the big parts, but you can't get the washes and the stems and all of the things that are outsourced from all over the globe. Hmm. So it's the little component parts that means you can't get the big parts. What's going on in masonry, Mark? If I had to pick one material that you just can't get, it's going to be bluestone. Bluestone? Yeah. That comes from here. It comes from here, but they can't get it out of the mountain. There's not enough labor to curate uh, the material from the Gotcha. Mountain. Mara, what about you? Backups? Oh, I can get some base, paint bases to make darker colors. You can't. Kind of. So you just tell the customers you can't get them? Tell the customers, choose away. another color or... We're going to wait, but we don't know when we're going to get it. What's it like, like on those job out. sites, Pops? It's, it's every, you name it, everything from concrete to a job site. You can't get a concrete truck because you don't have a driver. Windows, 16, 18, 20 weeks out. Mm -hmm. Lumber, roofing materials, all kinds of things. You can't get it. It's around, but you can't get it mm -hmm. to the job yeah. site. So how are the customers taking it, Jen? Mm -hmm. What do they say when you tell them they can't have this or that? Some are understanding and say, oh, we, you know, we understand, but can you make an exception? Like, don't you have some kind of connection? Funny. I, uh, <laughs> uh, friend, I got a, usually I got a guy, but no, nope. people are not as flexible because they are stuck in their homes and they just want change. Everyone's been trapped, right? They want change. And if I can't help them get there, I feel really bad, but it's not my fault. How are your customers taking it, Ross? Frustrated. Yeah, mm -hmm. like why can't I get that system? Why can't I put you know put that in? It's like you have to wait, you know, or you have to have that plan B. Right. That's a hard conversation to have, and you know, it's have a plan B, have a plan C now in this environment, uh, just to make sure that you know if there's something goes wrong, you can't get that system. You have a backup plan. Uh, not everybody wants to hear that, though. Mark, you're doing residential and commercial. Do you Correct. see see it equally as trying in both sides of that? Uh, very much so. And uh, in particular, on the commercial side, there are still penalty clauses written in contracts. Mm. So if you penalties can, against you against me. So if I can't get my mm. product on site, it's all on me. And again, it becomes a business problem very, very quickly. But that has to be relieved. That that time clause has to, in commercial projects can no longer stand if, so, if it's an external factor beyond your control. So to Richard's yeah. point, that's what I fight every day. So what's the root cause, do you think? In, in some ways, it's a weird confluence. We've got unbelievable demand. This just pent up demand from the, everybody was home during the pandemic. They lived with, they want to fix stuff up, there's cheap money. At the same time, we've got incredible supply, but it's sitting in cargo ships and sitting offshore. We just don't have the last mile. We can't connect the last mile between the supply and the demand. And then, you know, that's just on the material side. You know, you, you, you combine that with a labor shortage, it's, it's a crazy thing. And no matter how you tell somebody 16 weeks, there's no way to make 16 weeks sound, because that's actually four months. That's right. it's the, a the long reality. Is like they don't, they don't a third work of that year, far you know, or, you know, just no matter how you say it, it's not. It makes them not want to do the project. Yeah. So right. the plan B, Tommy, if you've got a customer and they want what they want and you just can't deliver it, are there tips, things that they should be thinking about in terms of how to deal with something that you can't fix? My rule of thumb years ago was plan A and plan B. All right, pick a second choice in case we can't get that tile. Now I mean it more than ever, A, B, or C. Yeah. And I can't even guarantee C, mm -hmm. but you have to be flexible in that way. Mm -hmm. So maybe the tile that you wanted the first isn't going to make it. The second one's not going to make it, but we are lucky with the third. But it's going to be still going to be 14 weeks away. So you have to be flexible in that way as a homeowner to take it. I mean, people have money because they're not going away, and now they're building that dream edition or whatever they're doing or buying a car. Whatever they're doing because they get extra money and they want to spend it. Mm. Mara, if you build a house and you get down to the final steps and you pick the color and you fell in love with it and they hear they can't have a dark color, what's plan B? Oh, I can see on their faces. They don't <laughs> like it. They don't like it at all. <laughs> all right. They base the colors on everything else like a couch or a rug or a curtains, everything. So they hate it when I say, I don't have this color. 
Okay. That plan C yeah, tile that look at for the rest of their life and think of you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Same Ross, thing. most people don't even know the systems you're talking about, right? They're not that sophisticated. How could they come up with a plan B? What do you tell them? Like, what is the alternative? I mean, uh, sometimes it's looking at a different manufacturer that might have something available. Um, in one project in particular, there's a shortage of refrigerators, right? So the refrigerator that is actually cased, the opening for, and everything's ready to go for, it's a 20-week lead time item. So what they're doing is they're getting a, a temporary refrigerator to put in, and they're going to wait that time period, you know, until they actually get the refrigerator that they finally, they finally ordered. Right. Mm -hmm. and so these, okay. I, what I was just going to say, Kevin, is there are restrictions for truckers. So it's not like if I had Bluestone in Connecticut and I'm from Massachusetts, I can get in my truck, drive down to Connecticut, load my truck, and leave. There are state bylaws and state restrictions that mm. I would have to abide by. So I can't go down and get my own material. I can't right. solve the problem that Inter way. Interstate, intrastate, yeah. you have to have a certain license for that. Your truck has to be able to carry the load. Uh, and the license has to be able to drive that load. Your right. Bluestone situation brought up the point of labor, though, and we have been talking about the labor shortage for years. It feels like it is finally coming yeah. home to yeah. roost. Are any of you guys less busy than you've ever been? I mean, this is the busiest time you've ever been, all of you? Busy? The busiest. 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 Busy, very, busy. Very busy. Are you all looking yep. for people? Is everyone looking for people? Absolutely. Always. There's nobody in the skilled trades that isn't looking for more people. Yep. But we're not as busy as we should be because we can't get that help. So there are, if we had two jobs to do, we can only do one. So, so what would we say, again, <laughs> to all these young people who are thinking about maybe or maybe not going into the trades? What do you say to them? I mean, there's nothing more fulfilling than working with your hands, you know, working on a craft that you basically can come home and sleep good at night and basically have, you know, a great experience for that day. There's nothing like making your own, you know, work schedule, right? And who and got to work in a pandemic? Mm -hmm. I mean, we were deemed essential workers. We could go out, you know, we took COVID tests, we were masked up, but we were able to work. So Recession proof, uh, pandemic yeah. proof. Yeah. Any, any younger person in this world, you can. You have two hands, you can work with it, and you can make money Working and be creative. At least 40 yeah. hours a week, yeah. time and a half, and plenty of jobs to go to. Yep. I mean, get it back into the schools, teach these young kids that they can do stuff with their hands. Junior high and high school, if nothing else, teach them. Get them aware of it. And right. they'll feel good about themselves, too. That's a huge thing. Crystal ball time. If we had this sort of, if you had to predict how long is it going to go on? Is it about to wrap up? we got six more months, more than a year left. How long are these shortages of both materials and labor going to go, Tom? I, I like to think no more than a year, but I really don't know. Mara? I say it's not predictable. Don't know. Mara? I agree with everyone, but I'm, I'm still feeling pretty positive. I think it's going to, I think it's going to alleviate itself. Richard? I, I think we got at least another year. Same, at least end of the year. I'm going for optimism here, working with plants. We just need to get them dug and brought to your spot, to your space. So I think it's going to get better sooner than we think. Sounds like I'm here. So be creative. You go in 11 months. <laughs> She's had your bets. Be creative, you know, be positive, and yeah. young people get into the trays, right? Absolutely. Okay. We need yep. them. Yep. All right, thank you guys. Now, please, everyone, back to work. We need okay. you out there. <laughs> go on. I'm up for that. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.